Hello, creative friends. I have these beautiful handmade cards that I'm going to make for you. They're super simple to make and all you need is a couple supplies. I recently reached a collection of beautiful angels, so I want to make a special card to include in them. I still have some available. I'll link my shop below if you're interested. So we are going to make these cards. I'm starting out on a card base. I have just like two different kinds of green acrylic paint. I have some white and some gold. So super simple. If you just have one bottle of green craft paint, you're totally fine. You can still do this. I'm also going to be using a cotton swab or you can use the bottom of a skewer too. So let's squirt out our paints. I just have a piece of um, a paint here and then I have the top of a lid. This is just um, from like my instant coffee that I have always on my table. I use it for lots of projects and I'm just going to open up these card bases. You can get these super cheap at Michael's or on Amazon. I'll link some below and you're just going to use it like a stamp. So I give it a slight twist and I create the perfect circle. And you can use whatever whatever you have basically hanging around to make a circle in the middle of your card base and I love these they're so easy so I'm going to add a little bit of white to my plate I'm going to grab the other bottle <laughs> and then I'm going to also get that darker green too um, just to have a little bit of variation and I'm using just a round brush that does have a point to it and we're just going to press it down so I don't put paint on the whole brush just a little bit and you're going to make kind of like a v-shape and that's going to give us the effect of leaves. So don't overthink this, just press down the tip of your brush, okay? And we're gonna do this around the rings, okay? So I'm just going to press down, kind of drag my brush just a little bit. And you can have the leaves facing one way or different kinds of ways, whatever you want, it'll work out great. And you just want to kind of vary the color. It's great even if you have a limited palette of just one color or, you know, maybe two different shades of that color. You can just add a little bit of white or mix the colors together and it gives you a lot of really interesting greens. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm just kind of varying the shapes of my leaves. I'm going different kind of ways and angles and just experiment. I You really cannot mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> you can add as many leaves or as few as you want. These cards come together pretty quick and I love how they look. So we're just going to do the same thing here. So just fill it in and you're just touching the tip of that brush. That's it. So super, super simple. And you're going to fill up the entire reef. I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer. So I just have paint on the tip of the brush and I'm just slightly changing the angle of my hand. So really, really simple. And the great part is that the round brush kind of does all the work for you. So you don't even have to overthink it. And we're going to go in and add some details, which will bring it together even more. But I really like how they look um, just with the green too. So if you want, you can stop here. But I am extra and I want to add extra. So we're going to add lots more details to our cards. But super simple. You don't have to really wait for things to dry acrylic. I love using it because it does dry pretty quickly too. Yeah, and just kind of play. You want light and dark, right? We're always looking for variation and balance, um, which are those beautiful elements of art. So we definitely want to utilize those when we're creating. Yes, so really fun. And I want, I always try to include something special when people order stuff from my shop. So I decided to make these cards and I thought I'd show you how to do it. I hope that you make them um, for the holidays. I think it would be just a beautiful thing. And they're super easy. You can do them like in batches. It's like one of those easy cards. You could even do them with kids. I always tell you guys to create with kids. It's because they're really awesome to create with. <laughs> um, and you know and it's so fun and this is a project um that they can definitely succeed in so i'm just showing you again that i'm just using the tip of the brush and just making like a v shape that's it okay and you can just change the angle of the brush so very very simple 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 simple
and these do come together so quick and you can you know fill them in as much as you want i don't mind a little bit of the circle showing um and you know you could probably just draw a circle if you wanted um, but i like kind of that stamping action i think that's really cool i'm trying to think yeah Yeah, we're just going to keep building up those layers. You know, and you can just alter that brush, create some beautiful leaf shapes. And like I said, I have like two greens, but you could just use one and just add a little bit of white, you know? And then you can add more white and get a different <laughs> green. So you can experiment, play, and see what you like. But literally, you can do this with just a few supplies, which is great. I love projects like this that are super, super simple. <laughs> okay. And we're just going to keep filling it up. And now I have the bottom of my skewer. So this is just a skewer, and I'm dipping it into the gold paint, and it's creating little golden berries. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to also show you with a Q-tip, too, so you can see that, too. But you can add as many of these as you want. I really love the texture. You could also do this with the tip of your brush too, um, or even with a paint pen. But I just love the texture that um, it gives when I use the bottom of a skewer, or I've even used like the back of my paintbrush will work out too to make little dots. And you just dip it in there and add as much as you want. And I'm just using the bottom. And kind of playing with it i'm gonna bring it up so you can see it but really really pretty and that gold just adds a really interesting element to it so let's do that again and this is with the q-tip and i'm going to bring it so you can see it so if you use like the side of the q-tip i find that you get better dots so you're just going to dip your q-tip in there and then press down kind of use it like a stamper and you can do clusters you could do like one or two you can do a pattern whatever you want it'll work out great but i really love how these looks and we're just gonna fill it up as much as we want and you could stop here i think that it's really beautiful and just very simplistic which is gorgeous or you can keep going so you guys know that i'm gonna keep going so i'm gonna add some more details with my paint pen so i have thin paint pens in two shades of green and then i have a white one so you want to let that dry completely you want to make sure that the acrylic paint is totally dry um, but i have these thin paint pens so that's what i'm going to use and i'm just going to add some details into my leaves so very simple just kind of outlining them and adding a vein so super simple i also like to add a little bit of scribbles um, just to give it a little bit more movement too so again super duper simple 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 so that's all we're going to do so just like two common shapes and then a line in the middle so super simple And you can even go outside the lines. You don't have to stay within the lines. Um, yeah, and just play and have a great time. And add as much detail as you want. And it's a different shade of green, but I love that. I think it contrasts with the... That's like a sage green, which is really pretty. It's a pretty color. So you can just play, just play, have a great time. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of scribbles to add some movement. You can add like a gold paint pen in here too, or other colors if you want. I kept these very basic. So the only thing that I added, you know, that was a little special was the white and the gold. <laughs> that was it. So super simple. Yeah, and don't overthink it. Just trace the edges of your leaves and add little marks. So super, super simple. 
and I love creating like a handmade card for Christmas. I think that that's the time to do it. It's really special. And I just love creating um, Christmas crafts <laughs> and Christmas projects and Christmas art. It's just so much fun. I have a whole bunch of stuff that will be listed in my shop in the next couple of weeks. I think I overmade things, but <laughs> I did. I did like three different ornaments and some other stuff too. So you guys will see that eventually but um i definitely catch kind of the fever of creating holiday gifts um, for the people that i love so i'm happy to share this project with you and you'll be seeing more so <laughs> i hope you enjoy it Alrighty, we're just gonna add more but i wanted to give you plenty of time you know to make christmas cards if you want i think that that's kind of the secret of creating gifts for people is that you kind of do it early so november is a great time to start especially early november you can just do a couple things like um yeah like maybe you can start out by creating you know the wreath and then when you have time let that dry add the gold berries and then add the details and then you can do like an assembly line thing so yeah, don't be afraid to do things in stages. I think that's a wonderful thing to do um, when you're creating gifts. So I'm just going to keep adding details. Like I said, there's no right or wrong way for you to do this. Just relax and have a great time. And if you just had like white, I think that would be fine to outline the leaves in. You could even use like a fine brush if you're comfortable with that. Uh, Posca paint pens would work too. I just don't have the fine ones, but... Uh, anything would really work. You just want to add a little bit of interest to your leaves, your beautiful wreath. So super, super simple. And you can add like V shapes in for the veins too. So you can have some leaves that have more details than the lines, but I wanted to show you simple, simple, simple. You can even just do like one line with a bunch of V shapes. Um, too. So now I'm going in with the white and I'm using it on some of the darker areas because again, we're looking for contrast, right? And then here I'm going to do like those V shapes. So I do a line and then Vs. And these have so much detail. I'm sorry that you won't really be able to see them on camera, but they're so pretty in real person and you can eat in in person in real person in person <laughs> and you can actually see them and then we can add like some dots just all sorts of fun stuff so it's really fun there we go and you can add as many details as you want. I tend to go on the heavier side with this kind of project. I just love um, adding a bunch of details. And you'll see I'll do the other one too, but I'll fast forward that. But you can see that one too. And just add in those simple details. I just think that it kind of makes it come alive. So we're going to... look at that one and i'm deciding like okay <laughs> am i done what should i do and then i decided that i'm going to add some dots so i'm just adding little clusters of white so super simple and then I'm going to let you watch me do the other one. I'm going to add a splatter to this. So I just add a bunch of water to my gold acrylic paint and just give it a splatter with a brush. So super simple. And then you let it dry and your cards are finished. So I hope that you try this project. Please tag me on Instagram if you do. I'd love to see your work or on um, Facebook too. Um, my Facebook is pretty much just for my art. Yeah, so I'm going to give this a little splatter and that is it. And I'm going to show you another one too. So I really hope that you enjoyed this project. I will link all the products that I'm using below. And if you're looking for some Christmas gifts, I do happen to have some things um, in my shop that you can check out too. But I am going to do so many fun projects 
over the next uh, month or so. So I hope that you enjoy them. We're going to be making some um, hand painted bags that are super simple gift bags. So you can wrap up your beautiful little gifts in them. And I have some other ideas too. And I do have a really cool um, Christmas box. I'll link that below um, if you want to check out that video too. So I hope that you enjoy this. <laughs> Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will hopefully see you soon. Happy creating. This is such a little fun gift um, that you can give to your family. I, I think that handmade cards are gifts. <laughs> I always keep them. They're something that are precious to me, but um, it's a great addition to any gift that you get. Um, just spending some time and making a little card is just such a thoughtful and considerate thing to do. So really simple. And all you need is card bases. You can get those at Michael's or Hobby Lobby for super cheap or Amazon. Um, and you can make a whole batch of these gorgeous little cards. <laughs> so these are great. I'm so excited to share these with, um, with the people that ordered stuff from my shop. So really fun. <laughs> so I will see you guys in next week's video. And let's add another splatter and happy creating. Bye bye.